Hi, this is Dave, Fell Running Guide. Welcome to another navigation task. This one is another route choice task. What we've got to think about is the best way of getting from the summit of Ir Elen here down to the sheepfold there. Um, but think about doing it in bad visibility. If you're trying to do that on a clear day, then because those sheepfolds are it's quite a, a large complex of them, they'd be visible from quite a distance but what about in fog or low visibility you might not be able to see them till you get to about maybe a couple of hundred meters away so what would your strategy be for that so let's have a think about some of our possible options so the shortest way of getting from a to b is obviously in a straight line so something like that what is wrong with that any reason why we shouldn't do that well some people have said that they won't go through this area here because it's a an area of cliffs uh, that's not actually true because these um the black symbols here shows it's um rocky ground and rocky outcrops but if you look at the spacing of the contours that gives away the the steepness of the ground and the contours here aren't that um, close together. It's steep ground, but it's not the sort of thing that's going to um, you know, be a danger to life. If you look over at this area here, then this is more dangerous. You've got um, a cliff top and very, very close contours, but there's no reason why you wouldn't be able to safely pick your way down through that ground there. So don't be put off by that. Um, so you could, if we were to head northwestwards down through that steep ground um, and then we get another area of rocky outcroppy ground here and we could go straight down there now the danger of that is even if you got to this area here of Foganol trying to take um, a bearing of over a kilometer downhill and also downhill where we're not going at 90 degrees to the contours and we're not going down the the nose of the ridge it'd be quite easy to get um, sort of pulled into a, a direction more facing straight down the slope and maybe end up in here somewhere rather than straight line coming out at um, where we wanted to come out so I would avoid trying to do a, a real long compass bearing in bad visibility down a slope where we're not going straight down the fall line so i'd avoid that uh, be more likely to break it down into a, a series of different stages or legs or even you might want to call them attack points from one point to another so what do i mean by that well rather than heading straight down what we might do is head first of all down for this area here this rocky ground that we talked about and notice before that if we're to head down the slope see how the contours open out slightly before we get there so if we were heading northwest down there we might see this break of slope the opening of the contours and then the rocky ground and then once we hit that rocky ground then we could take another bearing along um, we'd also hit a second area of rocky ground there this flattening before it and then steepening off on the rocky ground and then from there take a bearing down the nose or the, the ridge and then look happens what, what happens to the contours here close together and then they open out open out slightly closer together there and then you've got this large flat area there which is that would be a giveaway and then we'll be aiming for that point there where the ground steepens off again and then finally taking a bearing from there off just to the west of north for our final leg so breaking it down to a series of legs rather than going for one long one so that's one option of doing it 
um, if I put that onto and get mapping software the route might look something like that so that's option one so what about if we wanted to go uh, a different way and avoid that rocky ground so you weren't comfortable on, on rocky ground and you wanted to avoid it as much as you could but what we could do there is we could head back and either come down this gully here to the start of those streams or even take a longer diversion maybe that way around and find these streams and then we've got a choice we could either continue on that bearing roughly um, north northwest towards this rocky ground again and then continue on our previous route or if we didn't want to do that one we could continue straight down the stream right notice these um, sheep folds here and get to the point where the stream finishes and then we're on the 550 contour there we could follow that in contouring in and then we get to this point here where the contour swings round to the north and then back to the northeast then that's the the point where we're on the ridge and again we can follow our previous route in from there so that's one way of doing it so option two might look something like that okay now then some people suggested that we could use this path and navigate in until we get to this point here and then go in from there now then I can't stress this enough that this using paths is um, not dangerous but it's, it's risky in terms of navigation because this green dashed line here is not a path so I'll stress that it's not a path it's a public right of way if we look at this one here it's a green dash with a black dash underneath it now a black dash is a path on the ground so when it coincides with a green dash then you've got a path that follows a public right of way this one here is just a public right of way you've got a legal right to be there on foot it doesn't mean there's a path on the ground and I can demonstrate that so look at this path and public right of way here and see where it crosses the river we'd expect a path to cross there you see this kink in the in the stream we've got two looks like sheep folds there and then a kink and then we're looking for where the put right away crosses so let's have a look at that so here you can see satellite image there are the two sheep folds here you can clearly see that there is a path on the ground there and there's that obvious kink in the stream now the public right of way crosses here and kinks back through that stream feature there but you can clearly see it doesn't exist on the ground it's not there at all so this path here isn't a path it doesn't exist so if you were thinking of going along navigating to there that's not a good plan there might be some sheep tracks or deer tracks and you think you're on it and you may well end up down here somewhere so don't use that now then what we're going to do if in the fog we miss that sheep fold we don't hit it what's going to happen well if we came off the ridge too soon we notice that we've got this break of slope here where the ground opens up flattens off so if we start going much flatter we've probably gone too far if we hit that stream there or this big stream here we've gone too far and we need to do something called relocating so if we hit this flattening of ground and we don't see the sheepfold if we turn left and go due west we'll either come across the sheepfold or if we've gone too far 
we'll find this stream. If we find this stream, follow it back to where it upstream to where it finishes and then contour in and that takes us there. What if we'd overshot too far down here? Well, you'll eventually hit this stream and here. So if we hit a stream, then what we can do is we can check if we go um, back eastwards, we'll find this kink here and be able to relocate on the shape of this stream here and either find that junction and come in or find this stream and follow it back, like I said. So a few different things to think about there. Um, just a recap, this rocky ground isn't dangerous cliffs. We can tell that by the closeness of the contours. And also this public right of way isn't a path, so bear that in mind. So I hope there's some useful tips for you there. Not necessarily a, a right way or a wrong way, just different ways of doing it, as long as we can use these features as we go along rather than going on a, a long bearing uh, over rough ground in bad visibility. So that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and look out for more of these navigation challenges. Bye for now.